So far we have seen clippers only by using PN junction diodes. In this video especially we are going to see clippers using Zener diodes. So when it comes to Zener diodes the characteristics of a Zener diode would be like a normal PN junction diode except that the breakdown is specifically shown where we have a breakdown voltage here and the Zener diode symbol is like this where when Zener diode is forward biased neglecting the cutting voltage for now it will be like a short circuit and if it is reverse biased and assuming it is not in the breakdown region it can be modeled as a open circuit and let's say the Zener diode is reverse biased but we are at the breakdown region let's say breakdown then the Zener diode can be modeled like a voltage reference with the breakdown or Zener voltage V set. So taking this into consideration, let's see some of the clippers by using Zener diodes. So coming to the first one, as we are concentrating all our videos on the shunt clippers, so even the Zener diodes here. I'm going to take the shunt clippers. So if you take a Zener diode here, let's say this is D1 and there is a current limiting resistor R. So let's analyze the cases. First, when VI is less than zero, obviously the diode D1 would be on. We can take this to be a short circuit. So in this case, the output voltage would be equal to 0 volts. Coming to the second case, when Vi is less than Vz and of course greater than 0, in which case that diode 1 would be reverse biased, which means it will be off and we can take this to be open circuit because it hasn't entered into breakdown region yet. So in that case, the circuit would be like this, where V0 is equal to VI. The output voltage would be equal to the input voltage. When we come to the third case, where VI is greater than the Zener breakdown voltage, obviously the D1 is still reverse biased, but as it has entered into breakdown region of operation, we have to take this to be a voltage reference circuit. So the circuit diagram would look like this where the output voltage would be equal to Vz which is Zener breakdown voltage. Now if you look at the transfer characteristics of this circuit which would look like this where this is the first case we analyzed and this is the second case we analyzed and this is corresponding to the third case we analyzed. Now similarly, we're going to take the second circuit where the Zener diode is simply reversed in which the circuit looks like this. Let's get to the analysis. The first case where we want to see when the diode gets forward biased because in reverse bias there are two categories to look at. Hence, let's start with the case where diode is forward biased. This happens when Vi is greater than 0 in which case D1 is on which means it looks like a short circuit. As it is short circuit the output voltage would be 0 volts. I am not drawing the circuit diagrams here. We have seen enough circuit diagram so far. I think you can draw it yourself so I am not spending time doing it here. Now coming to the second one where let's say Vi is less than 0 and Vi is greater than minus Vz which means we are trying to find when the Zener diode is just reverse biased not in the breakdown region just reverse biased in which case D1 is off we can take this to be open circuit when the diode is open circuit the output voltage will be equal to the input voltage. 
Now coming to the third case where vi is less than minus vz which means we are entering into a region where zener diode is in breakdown region in which case d1 will be in breakdown region it will be like a voltage reference hence the output voltage will be equal to minus vz so if you draw the transfer characteristics for this one the transfer characteristics would look like this so this is corresponding to the first case we have seen and this is corresponding to the second case where output voltage is equal to input voltage and this is corresponding to the third case where output voltage is equal to minus v set now if you look at in the first case if you give a sinusoid waveform at the input the circuit would give an output like this where it gives only the positive half of the wave and that too the positive half of the wave would be clipped with a reference of v set so it gives by default two references zero to v set just because of its characteristics of breakdown it has a v set as a reference and now coming to the second one this is for the first circuit now the second circuit if we give the same waveform we get negative half of the wave but clipped to a point minus v set so the waveform is between zero and minus v set for the second case this is for the second case and this is for the first case now going forward in the next video we will see combining both the circuits how does the waveform shaping will happen if you like the video please give a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and thank you for watching